Canada, the world's second largest country by land area, boasts a population smaller than that of just the state of California. But why? It's not for a lack of space. With its sprawling landscapes, rich resources, and multicultural cities, you'd think everyone would want a piece of the Great White North. Yet, dig a little deeper and you'll uncover some surprising reasons that might make you think twice about packing your bags for Canada. From biting cold winters to some unexpected challenges in its praised healthcare system, the Maple Leaf Country is not everyone's dream destination. Intrigued? Hello adventurers, I'm Mr. Thinker and today we're diving deep into a curious question, why does it seem like no one wants to live in Canada? With its vast landscapes and diverse cities, Canada appears to be a dreamland, but there's more to the story than meets the eye. Canada is a vast and diverse land, filled with stories of resilience, growth and prosperity. Let's dive into how this incredible nation came to be. Thousands of years ago, before the towering skyscrapers and bustling cities, humans first set foot in Canada. They journeyed from Asia, crossing a bridge of land that once connected Siberia to Alaska. These early settlers weren't just wanderers, they built cultures, formed traditions, and even traded with one another. Fast forward a few millennia, and the Vikings, seafaring warriors from Scandinavia, reached Canada's shores around the year 1000. While they didn't stay for long, their arrival marked the beginning of European interest in this vast land. In the centuries that followed, explorers like John Cabot and Jacques Cartier began charting Canada's coasts and waterways. The French, charmed by Canada's potential, set up shop in the 1500s, founding New France. They built Quebec City and later Montreal. They traded furs, farmed the land, and intermingled with the indigenous population. Meanwhile, the British were also eager to stake their claim. They set up colonies along the coast, focusing on fishing and trade. But as you might expect, the two European giants, France and Britain, didn't see eye to eye. Their disputes turned into full-blown wars, the biggest being the Seven Years' War. When the dust settled, Britain emerged victorious and France handed over New France to the British. Under British rule, Canada faced many challenges. When the United States became independent, many who remained loyal to the British crown fled to Canada. The two neighbors even had a showdown in the War of 1812, but Canada managed to fend off the American invaders. Through ups and downs, struggles and victories, a distinct Canadian identity began to emerge. By 1867, a big decision was made. Four regions, Ontario, Quebec, Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, joined hands to form the Dominion of Canada. It was a new beginning. Over the years, more regions joined the fold, expanding Canada's borders from the Atlantic to the Pacific. Canada's relationship with Britain also evolved. By the 1900s, Canada started making its own decisions on foreign matters, and in 1982, Canada took a significant step, bringing home its constitution, cementing its status as a fully sovereign nation. But a nation isn't just about its political history. Canada's growth is also a tale of its economic adventures. In the early days, the focus was on farming, mining, and forestry, and with time, cities grew, factories sprouted, and trade routes expanded. People from around the world poured into Canada, bringing skills, dreams, and flavors from their homelands. Together, they built a strong, modern economy. Today, Canada is known not just for its natural resources, but also for its technology, services, and finance sectors. So why did Canada become so successful? Well, its rich history laid the foundation. The vast landscapes filled with mountains, forests, and lakes provided many natural resources. The people, from the earliest settlers to the latest immigrants, brought skills, passion, and innovations. The nation's strong institutions ensured fairness, while its values promoted diversity and unity. But with its inspiring history, Canada seems to be racking in more problems than it lets on. When you think about Canada, bustling cities like Toronto and Vancouver might come to mind. These cities are lively and filled with opportunities, but living in them comes with a hefty price tag. Imagine trying to rent a decent apartment in the heart of the city, you'd find that it could take a significant chunk out of your paycheck. And it's not just about the rent, many Canadians feel the pinch when they do everyday things like buying milk, getting a cell phone plan, or even enjoying a night out at a bar. 
For some, managing finances in these cities while ensuring a comfortable lifestyle can be a tightrope walk. Now, if you've ever seen a postcard of Canada during the winter, you'd see a winter wonderland with snow-capped trees and children playing. But living through a Canadian winter is a whole other story. The winters here aren't just cold, they can be fiercely cold. While snowfall paints a beautiful picture, it brings with it a host of challenges. Roads get slippery, commutes become longer, and the simple act of stepping outside requires bundling up in layers and upon layers of clothing. And it's not just about the cold, the lack of ample sunlight during winter can take a toll on one's mood. Some even experience conditions like seasonal affective disorder due to the decreased sunlight. Speaking of distances, Canada is vast. It's not just about the size, but also how spread out everything is. If you live in Canada and decide to visit a friend in another province, sometimes it might feel like you're traveling to another country altogether. This vastness means that sometimes traveling within Canada can be more expensive than flying to a neighboring country. And if you're someone who relies on public transport, navigating this vast expanse can be tricky since many areas lack efficient transit systems. Now, while Canada boasts of a robust economy, it's essential to recognize that it might not offer the same range of job opportunities as some larger economies. Someone used to the diverse job market of places like the US might find Canada's job scene a bit limited in comparison. And even if you find a job in your field, there's no guarantee that it'll pay as much as you'd expect. Plus, the competition is fierce. With many skilled professionals vying for the same positions, landing your dream job can be challenging. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Imagine looking at the vast glaciers, the mighty rivers, and the vast forests that dot the Canadian landscape. These natural wonders are not just tourist attractions, but are pivotal to the Canadian way of life. However, they're under threat. Climate change isn't just a global buzzword, it's a pressing reality for Canada. With melting glaciers, unpredictable weather patterns, and increasing wildfires, Canada finds itself at the forefront of this global challenge. One might wonder, why? Apart from the natural challenges, Canada's own industries, especially its oil and gas sector, contribute a significant amount to the world's greenhouse gases. This is concerning as it's not just about nature. It affects the economy, people's health, and national security. The nation aims to significantly reduce these emissions by 2050, but the journey is long and time is running out. Now, while Canada is often celebrated for its diversity and multicultural fabric, it's essential to realize that not every Canadian enjoys the same quality of life. Behind the bustling cities and the serene suburbs, there are pressing social concerns, issues like poverty, homelessness, and a host of prejudices like racism, sexism, and so on, casting a shadow over many lives. These aren't standalone problems, they are interlinked. For instance, marginalized groups, whether they're indigenous peoples, recent immigrants, or the LGBTQ community, often face challenges simultaneously. And it's not just about fairness, it impacts the economy too. Think about it. When a significant portion of the population struggles, it hampers the country's overall growth. There's a cost to social inequality, and it's a price too high for Canada. Let's shift our focus to something Canadians are also incredibly proud of, their healthcare system. It's lauded globally for offering healthcare to every citizen, yet behind this commendable goal lies a series of challenges. Imagine needing a medical procedure but being told you have to wait for months. Or consider the elderly population, who sometimes find it hard to get the specialized care they need. From crowded hospitals to the rising costs of medical care, the Canadian health system grapples with various problems. And while everyone has the right to medical care, many essentials like prescription drugs, dental treatments, and mental health services often come out of the patient's own pocket. Balancing the high standards with these gaps becomes a juggling act. In wrapping up, while Canada shines as one of the world's leading nations, it's a country in introspection, grappling with its challenges. Climate change, social inequalities, and healthcare issues are but a few on a much longer list. So what do you think about Canada's dream life? Would you want to move there? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and please subscribe, like, share, hit the bell icon and see you in the next video.